Hello friends, as usual, Mark Medicals is here to answer your questions and give you the best health tips. Today, let's answer this question from our viewers. The question is, is it possible for a mosquito to spread HIV? We shall look at the following. Number one, what is HIV? Number two, what are mosquitoes? And what parasites are carried by mosquitoes? Number three, we shall compare mosquito feeding process with a medical syringe as far as consumption of HIV is concerned. Number four, we shall look at possible chances of HIV infection from a mosquito bite. Alright, let's begin now. First of all, there is absolutely zero chances of getting infected with HIV from a mosquito bite. So watch this video till the end to know the reason why. So if you have not subscribed, please subscribe today so that you don't miss our weekly health tips. Let's start with number one. What is HIV? HIV is a virus that damages the cells in your immune system and weakens your ability to fight everyday infections and diseases. HIV is found in the body fluids of an infected person. These include semen, vaginal and anal fluids, blood, and breast milk. Number two, what are mosquitoes and what parasites are carried by mosquitoes? Mosquitoes are common flying insects that live in most parts of the world. Over 3,500 types of mosquitoes can be found worldwide. Note that not all mosquitoes bite people or animals. When mosquitoes bite people, the most common reactions to the bite are itching and swelling. Parasites that are carried by mosquitoes from host to another, like malaria parasites, have developed special ways to avoid the digestive processes of the mosquito stomach enzymes. HIV particles, however, are simply food to the mosquito and are immediately digested, making them incapable of infecting people following a mos mosquito bite. First, the mosquito's feeding structures are different from medical syringes, and a mosquito bite is a complex structure in which food or blood goes one way and malaria parasites in saliva comes out another side. So, while a person can get infected with HIV by using a used syringe, chances of getting infected from a mosquito bite is almost zero. Second, there simply aren't enough HIV present to initiate infection in another person from a mosquito bite. The reason HIV passes from one person to the next is because of the sheer number of virus particles that are transferred during say, sex or a blood transfusion. According to research, an HIV-free individual would have to be bitten by over 10 million mosquitoes that had begun feeding on an HIV carrier to receive a single unit of HIV from contaminated mosquito mouth parts. 
Also, keep in mind that not every virus which gets into a new host like human is able to initiate an HIV infection. The odds of getting infected via the mouth parts of a mosquito are practically so close to zero. Not that, also shared needles are different. This is because they take up a much larger quantity of blood than a mosquito, meaning much more HIV. The drop of blood on the tip of a needle is probably more than what a mosquito consumes. Some blood probably remains in a used needle, even if you think ceiling and the needle is empty and dry. And most importantly, a mosquito sucks up blood into stomach and injects saliva from saliva glands. But the needle sucks up and injects blood through the same tube, which is different from the mosquito. So, as far as mosquitoes go, your fear should be about acquiring one of the following diseases like malaria, dengue fever, ear fever, and so many others, but not HIV. Friends, what other health-related question do you want us to answer? Please share, like our video, and subscribe today. Thanks for visiting Mark Medicals.